Okay, we're back for another uh, Soul Forge draft. This is an interesting pick. Um, again, not a big fan of either Avatar. I'm actually pretty cold on Lifeblood Dryad. It can be interesting in the uh, um, Fill the Lanes deck, but I like other Fill the Lanes cards more, or other cards more in the Fill the Lanes deck. Um, Death Weaver, for example, is much better in the Dryad deck than the Dryad itself is. Um, really, it comes down to Tactician versus Titan. Those are two cards I'd love to have in my final deck. However, Titan's a lot more conditional. Tactician's pretty much just always good to have in your deck. Um, Titan needs a s slower survivey deck, um, and Tactician's just good. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Tactician. Um, I tend to do better in decks where I start with Tactician and, uh, than any other card. Uh, I, I have won several in a row in which I got a double Tactician, but that's obviously asking for a lot. Um, I like Volcanic Giant more than most people. Um, it can be good in an aggressive deck with Tactician and uh, some of the more aggressive Alloying cards. Um, Death Seeker's fine, which is fine. Really, all, these cards are kind of second string. Uh, I think uh, Volcanic Giant is not first here, but it's, I'd say, half a step above both of these. Um, maybe only slightly more than Death Seeker, but I like Giant. And I've been wanting to play with Tempest more to uh, better understand it and see how it works. So let's go ahead and pick up the Giant. All right. So Tactician is a very solid creature. Um, I ended up not playing it much in my last draft, but it is very good. Your anti is okay, but it's not as reliable. Um, Lightning Spark is fine removal. Um, it can go directly to the opponent's face. But again, I'm trying to practice uh, focusing more on creatures. So I think I'm going to grab more creatures right now and try to get things like Lightning Spark later. We'll see if it happens. All right. Not a big fan of any of these cards. Um, I am a bigger fan of Force Field than most people, um, just because it can sometimes make trades go in your favor. Um, Energy Surge does become free at level 2. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth it um, for something that does not affect the board. Just because Force Field has an effect on the board at all, I think that it might be as good. Um, it might be better. Um, I'm more willing to play it, because I'm never going to play a Force Field unless it's actually good. Um... So I'm taking it here. All right, uh, Vanguard is nice to have on my stack. That will allow me to favor to pick other things slightly differently. Um, uh, Iceborne Fortitude's actually not terrible, I don't think. Um, I do really like Giant. Um, I've had a deck do very well that had just like two or three Giants, two or three Lightbringer clerics that just made it hard for my opponent to catch up in the race just from that incidental damage. But Stonefist Giant is uh, probably the better Giant here because of uh, how huge it gets. It's pretty rough at level 1, but it gets very good uh, from then on. All right, Light Shield Patrol is uh, the best of these creatures in general, but it's also extra good when you have a Tactician in your deck. Um, Cryo is okay. Uh, Wildfire Maiden is... Uh, just a reasonable creature that has its that has some flexibility because of its ability. Um, wild, wildfire major that maiden also seems better with a uh, tactician. All right, uh, water walker is okay at level two, but it's not great. Um, pyre song is okay. It's hard to really get the most value out of it. Yeah, I think I'll try Water Walker out here. I haven't messed with her as much as I'd like. Uh, of these two, Glacial Colossus is definitely better. Um, we could get a Jetpack. That's something I could see happen. Um, okay, Seismic Adek is uh, actually quite good. Um, Titan is interesting, though. Titan is best if we can get to the very late game. We don't have that kind of deck, I don't feel like. I don't feel like our deck is uh, that good at surviving yet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take Seismic Adept just because it's better in more situations. It makes it easier to make trades favorable. Um, 
Sparkblade Assassin is best of level 2, um, as I keep saying. Um, I do like Pulse Mage more than most, though. But I think uh, the Assassin. We do want more creatures that are just good at level 1 in particular. Um, we only have two 6 power creatures at level 1, and one of them has Defender. Um, however, uh, Sentry is fine. Light Shield Patrol is also fine. Um, yeah. Again, going very few creatures, so uh, there are very few spells, so Stasis Warden is really bad. Um, I think there's a tiny chance I'll play Acer's Blessing. Okay, so Light Shield Patrol is very good. Um, it's good with a uh, technician. We only have one technician and no generals, though, so we don't want to go too all in on that. I think Nargath Bruiser is just a very solid creature. It's probably best here. Um, Wind Primordial is definitely fine. Um, it levels up pretty okay. Okay, Matrix Warden does not look like it, but it's another of those six power creatures that we've uh, been saying we want. Light Shield Patrol is good. We already have two, however, and Matrix Warden just turns the other ones on. So that's nice. Okay. How are Alloyan Highlander's stats? Because um, it's, you know, we don't want it to be our only creature just because then we're probably losing. Um, it's not great except at top level. Um, Jetpack's decent with uh, Light Shield Patrols. It's good with uh, Glacial Colossus. Oh, I think I'll pick one up. Um, I'm not sure if that's correct. But it's possible. Um, Windborn Hellion's a decent body. Um, we don't have a ton of things that move. Um, we have Wind Primordial. Um, we have Jetpack. Um, so that's something, you know, it's not going to get full value here. We could take the Shaman here for it. But again, I'm going to take a Sentry every time it's available. Um, Nexus Pilot fights for uh, the middle lane. But it's a big enough creature that I think it's worth it, and we can always swap it out if we absolutely need to. Mystic is fine. A 4-6 is an okay creature. Um, it can help get in a little bit of extra damage. Um, Munitions Drone. If we can keep it alive, is a very nice effect. I think I'm going to try out Mystic. I haven't used it as much as I should. Uh, War Charger's good here. Um, Colossus is not a good, not good enough even with Jetpack. Um, not been super impressed with Rift Lasher, despite the uh, Jetpack. Um, I think actually I'm going to take the Artillery here. Um, Zephyr Mage is nice. Um, Vanguard would be fine. Uh, we don't have much that gives armor all we have is the uh force field which obviously isn't great but zephyr mage is fine all right um definitely like the magma hound here it simulates a six power creature um because it's four plus the two damage um so and it levels well so i think it's just a very good creature here um orient battle droid is bad against necrium uh removal but pretty good um some decks have a very hard time with it um not all but some Metasite is nice to pick up just because there are times when uh, when you're just not going to have other good plays or when your opponent's kind of uh, fiddling around not doing a ton. So it can help you uh, get ahead for later rounds. And Light Shield Patrol is nice. Um, the deck is not as focused as I'd like. Um, we don't have as many uh, of the good robots as I'd like. Um, we don't have as many stone giants as I'd like. Um, but we'll see how it goes. 